Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm feeling a little bit better. I got a cough drop couched in my cheek again. We're, we're ready to go. And actually, can I tell you, I think I got, I got a nine piece on stream. I feel like I have a, a slight amount. I have a mental model for how to deal with this week's weekly. Now I'm not feeling good about it. I'll be like a super auto personality or whatever. I'm not feeling confident about it. There have been some weeklies where like we were a little bit better than others. Let's just put it that way. This one certainly strikes me as I'm, I'm battling uphill for whatever reason. Whatever is it, whatever tends to be successful is, uh, is not in my normal wheelhouse. Let's put it that way. That being said, there's some things we can do. We can get uh, sniping. We can go summons. We can go scaling. We can go um, nurse shark. Thank you for this draw. Plus Nyala and get like a little, it's kind of, I guess, like a pseudo sniping build going a lot later as well. But first we need to figure out how to not die in the early game. Maybe some summons could help us do that. Maybe some summons. Maybe I, I just... The Peacock strikes me as like the only level two unit this week that actually has like build around potential. So I apologize for, for always prioritizing the Peacock, but it is what it is, man. I, 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 gotta, I gotta go with what feels like it works. Although I would love to... Well, I would love to not be in this position. Let's just put it that way. Roll me? Not so worried about the ladybug. I'll take the opossum level up just in the hopes that I could get like a buff here. And I would say mission accomplished. Now let's buff the peacock a little bit. Part of me says, you know what? We got a pseudo summon build going already. I really thought that was going to buff the spider instead of buff the rat. That's, that's life. And we're not really worried about a level three beaver in a weekly where there's no bison. So zero wins, but I, I would definitely settle for just like, you know, stopping the bleeding a little bit. Now, is the bleeding gonna stop? I'm gonna have to hit you with a, a doubt on that one. I'm gonna have to hit you with, a, with a, a, a quizzical look. Like a cat wondering why they haven't been fed their wet food today, and then you're trying to explain to them it's because it's four hours before dinner time, but for some reason you think it's dinner time right now. I'm not, I'm not really rat-pilled here. I am that pilled. I'm not sure I'm spider-pilled either. I gotta tell you, it's not looking good. <laughs> it is a Wednesday too. People are starting to they're starting to figure it out a little bit. Except me, apparently. But wait, horses. We're not sweating it. Hang on. If there was ever a time for the default sheep to do something. Okay, we at least got a draw. We're down here in the losers bracket with the other people with zero wins, but I'll take it nonetheless. Roll me. Thank you. I'll don't give me a sheep level up, okay? Sell me, and then toss down a sheep right there. We really need that level up to come next time. And I would even say sell the spider. I know it just got buffed, but we need something like that. I'm trying to think it'll be round seven. The best level up might be leveling up the sheep into a turkey, which could help us get our, our summon build off the ground, if that's indeed where we're going. So we don't really have summons yet. We don't really have scaling yet. Um, we don't really, we don't have a lot. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. But we do have a win. Can you believe that? Um, level me. Swordfish. It's an insult. Um, you should actually just come out here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run two turtles. Okay, you are gonna hit level three, but... I'm going to run two turtles just because if they level up, those are nice stats for us. There's no pills this week and no mantis, so I don't think there's, um, I don't think there's free melon armor coming in. But the turtle, it exists, uh, you know, it, it, it does good stuff in its own right. Even if we do have to pay the cost of actually running the unit instead of just pilling it and getting the melon. Two wins, but we got a long road. I think you have to take a Niala, and you say, Clownfish, thank you so much for your support so far. Manatee could have worked, I suppose, but... I mean, we're, we're on... It's real desperation hours. I think we want to go Niala, Nurse Shark, and then there's a little bit of praying involved, as is often the case. A little bit of prayer might be involved in this one. 
huge. I, I'm a little stunned, but would you look at that? Three wins and three life. I want to see a nurse shark, probably. I actually think we buff you. Another Niala? I mean, the Niala leveling, spitting out a 16-16 dog is pretty good. I feel like, at the very least, a tiger beats a giraffe in this situation, even if we just put it on the peacock. But the peacock is kind of like... I wouldn't call it like a failed gamble, but it wasn't... It, it didn't grow into the unit that we might have expected it. So, but you can use the peacock as like a mid-value unit, or you can buff it to 50-50 if you get the, the juice. I would say we have not gotten the juice, though. Let's try this. Moose scaling does exist, but I think we're on like a different trajectory here. You know, with three life remaining, I would dump the turtle, buy a dragon, and, and get in the business. I, a lemon is always good, of course, but I'm really feeling like we, we go all in on like dragon tier one scaling. And a nurse shark would also be nice. I, I have not been paying attention for it recently, so that might that might hurt us. But this is a tough one. This it, it's more than tough. It's unwinnable. But we weren't off by by all that much, all things considered. I know it looks like. I mean, it technically was two units, but well, well, well. Good, good. Kind of amazing. I think we got to freeze you for now. Buy me. Sell me. Let's let's just get some stats temporarily. Roll me. Okay. Melon on our, our sheep will go hard. A level 2 dragon this early. And maybe a level 3 the dragon can come to pass. But it's it's going to be a while. This could be a draw. A draw is, is beautiful for us right now. I love the 2 squad Doberman Lion. Because you can't add anything above a level 5. And you can't add anything a level 4 or lower. So you're just, you're permanently stuck with just those two units if you want the effects. Very humorous, very droll. But keep scaling me, keep scaling me. I think we might have gotten the econ we needed. We got two lives left to play with, it's round 12. No matter what, I mean, I could tell you we're going long. <laughs> this is not gonna be, it's not gonna be a short one, let's put it that way. Unless we lose two runs very quickly, in which case it will be a short one, I guess, but... Some very, very strong units at, at play here still. This one hurts. 16, so okay, we're gonna be on lethal. Two good scalers, come on, we, we got the engine. Don't kill me, we got the engine now. Forget this guy. We're just going for maximum massive scaling. Level 3 Dragon if it's easy, otherwise I'd love to just have Tier 1s. We have to go Tier 1 for now, and then buff you, and then please, for the love of God. <laughs> to get a level 3 Dragon out there, in 3 rounds we get out of a squad full of 50-50s. Oh no, they've got their own Ghost Shark. This team doesn't look that scary, but I'm, I'm open to being disproved. What is it? It's gonna, their, their Nurse Shark is going to do like no damage. It did no damage. They didn't farm enough trumpets. Forget the peacock. It's not necessary. This is necessary. I genuinely think if I was like ballparking our odds, I think there's a better chance we get 10 wins than there is we get 5 wins. I know mathematically it sounds ridiculous, but I, I for real think, although we have a, an equipment deficit, I think there's a better chance we win five than lose one. Without having one, another one in advance. Don't make me look like a fool. <laughs> Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. No, we're going to lose. <laughs> I was so confident. I was sure that was it, but if we got past that one, we're going to 10, I guarantee it. Okay, give me this, give me this. Honestly, just give me stats early. I, I can put some respect on the stats. And I'll be like the silver balls. It's Christmas time in the city. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, hear them ring. Ding-a-ling. Soon it will be Christmas. You, you get the idea there? You get what I'm saying? It's a Christmas song, if you're not familiar. I recognize we're relatively far out from the holiday season, but... 
It's never too early to start prepping, I suppose. I mean, it's a little too... You know when it's too early to start buying your Christmas presents? Is when you have other holidays superseding it. I've still got an anniversary between now and Christmas. I can't start buying Christmas presents, then I'll shoot my whole anniversary wad. I gotta figure out the anniversary present first. After the anniversary, then I could start thinking about Christmas presents. However, I gotta give myself a little break. You know, I just thought of the anniversary present. I'm not gonna go out and just immediately buy Christmas presents. I deserve a little treat. I deserve a little time off. All of a sudden, it's December 23rd, and you're like, No! Okay, give me, give me the double stoats. I like it. I have no complaints about the peacock so far, by the way. I think it's done its job. The stoat leveling is like the perfect pivot into a level 2 tier 5 or a level 2 tier 6, hopefully. If we have to sell it before then, I would say it's maybe an act of desperation, but it wouldn't be the first time. Extremely lucky. Holy cow. Three wins. I feel, I, I feel amazing. Buff me. Not much of a wasp guy. Holy cow. Um, sell me. Buy me. And then I'm just going to say, give me the double freeze. I wouldn't mind trying to get a level three stoat if the stoats appear. We can use the stats on the stoat until we're ready to sell the stoat. Then we sell the stoat. This looks like a loss. It looks like a draw. Well, well, well. Sell the stoat into a, maybe a tier three, level five, level six. Or level a tier five or six that's level three, I mean to say. Rooster. I don't mind it. But we have to find something to buff in order to make it uh, actually work. Or as Freddie Mercury would say, Somebody to buff. He works hard. Every, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Everybody tries to put him down. They say he's go crazy. And you're not so familiar with that. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. You're not familiar with my game. Me neither. I just lost to Clayboy69. Some of this. Stout me. I like it. I sell it. I like it. We got some serious buff potential here. I was literally just about to say as long as it hits a peacock, I'm happy. But whatever. Don't 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 snipe my guys. It's so disrespectful. For for no reason. For what? Just because we're enemies, you snipe my guys. A little rude, I, I suppose. Okay, now, levels. Levels are important. Mostly, I mean, there's still good, good stats on the peacock. I still respect it. Garlic is important. There's garlic. We can't quite get there yet. That's okay. I'm not selling the stoat into a tier four. Freeze the garlic. I'm telling you, level three stoat. Who knows what? If it, if it spits out a level three dragon, the revenge tour is officially on. This is unwinnable, right? It is. I would describe this as unwinnable, but just barely. I'm still feeling good. Buff me. Buff me. This is our, like, we, we already knew what we wanted here. This is kind of our freebie round. You could buy honey. It's the most efficient thing. But I'm going to roll to look for a stoat. Oh! <laughs> I think we're getting close to zero hour here. We level the stoat, sell it into a, a level 3 tier 5. It's not a tier 6, but some tier 5s clear tier 6s. You know what? We just won a round. If we won a round, maybe we chill. Maybe we chill and see if we can get some tier 6s instead. I do like the idea of, of the frigate bird being buffed by the catfish. It's a little unusual. It's a little atypical. We barely use this, but it's something. Now, these go well together, but I think we're on a different line right now. You might say, what line? I don't know what line we're on until we see what the stoat sells into. So I apologize. This is what, I've, what I've said there is not very helpful at all. We're, we're a bit of a one-trick pony here. No doubt about that. This is certainly a loss. It's 
very close to time to sell this stone, but I, at this point, I gotta wait for a tier three, man. Ooh! Give me some HP. It hit the right unit, so I'm not sweating it. If the frigate bird is sticking around, let's give it a little meat. Let's make it slightly more useful. Please, for the love of God, let me make the stoat pivot of the century. Don't put me on lethal yet. I'm not ready to go. 16, 16 dog coming through at the back here. Nope. 14, 14 dog. Not that bad. They got an insurance policy that's irrelevant. Six wins. I'm feeling like this could be a genius 10 piece. There's never been a time like the present to sell you. It's kind of a dragon. It's kind of serving dragon vibes. Um, what happens if we, if we buff you? It spends one gold to, to trigger this two times, but you're going to be maxed too quickly. And leveling you doesn't seem right. I think, I think we dump you. Buy ya. You have to freeze two chocolate. I mean, it's just too good. And then, like, you could roll Spinosaurus. But surely there's gonna... You know what you do? Brother, you know what you do? You send out another chicken. You give it chocolate. We get ready to send out a level two chicken and a level three chicken. And then we sell our... We buy and sell and we got... I don't even know. It's like every time we buy something, we get... Uh, every time we buy a tier one, we're getting like a 5-5 five, five spit back at us or something. Holy cow. And we're going to win this round off the pivot. There's a shot. And there's pigs. My word. Sell me. You've done well for us, by the way, but sell me. Buff me. Buy me. Look at this. Holy, holy cow, dude. <laughs> oh, my word. Um, I would probably say you could afford to sell a frigate bird to put out like a... I mean, just a much better unit. I guess just a, literally like a Spinosaurus is fine. And you could sell... You, I mean, honestly, pretty soon you could probably sell the Peacock. Right now it's doing something for you, but 1140 is... I mean, depending on how these rounds go. <laughs> I was going to say it's not going to be that impressive, but be, be careful. Life comes at you pretty quick. Oh, that's so unfortunate. By really, by one life, we could have stayed in there with a draw with one extra life. No, no tier ones. I mean, Lemon goes crazy, but we're on a different track right now. Can I get some tier ones, please? Thank you. I appreciate that so much. You're too good to me. And there's also definitely a part of me that thinks... I mean, I know you could sell the chicken. I just don't want to. I think, if anything, you might sell the peacock. <laughs> Freeze your grizzly bear. Forget about this chicken for a minute. We, we got to set up a little, a little better, a little smarter. You being a 1-2 is so annoying. Give me eagle and give me 35-35 grizzly bear. And then just put garlic on the... Put garlic on the grizzly bear. I mean, his stats are as good as anybody else's stats. I know he's at the back, but... I don't want to put it on the Spinosaurus because the Spinosaurus isn't receiving any buffs. I don't want to put it on the Eagle because the Eagle's up at the front. Maybe that's irrelevant, but... Okay, we clear beer price. I mean, beep rice easily. No offense. It wasn't that easy. We only had 14 HP remaining. Give me some tier ones, bro. I would say, sell me. We can just get another one back. Or we could just run two bears. Takes us to six. And look at this squad. I mean, everything's already almost maxed. Why wouldn't we just sell like a level three chicken? For now, put a second bear out here. And then like literally just a 42, 42 anything. Let's go worm and we'll just give it a small buff. Equipment is probably the most valuable thing right now and selling your level 2 chicken because we got everything like so close to max already Like the equipment difference is is striking <laughs> but Okay, two bears is not doing what I needed to do because we need more like spawners up at the front But this chicken can go and be replaced with spawners How about 
just straight up, you're not that good anymore. No offense. Buy me, sell me. Give me a big turtle, man. That's very nice. Then dump the chicken for a spawner. I would love it. And again, this strat is kind of nonsensical, but I would love it if the spawner was not a rooster. But if it has, I would love it if it was an eagle. But if it has to be a rooster, then so be it. I think this is starting to be a scarier, more effective squad. We're almost fully maxed. We can still get beaten by clever teams, equipment difference, etc., etc. But our, our unit... Oh, we're, we're going to 10. We're going to 10. And we... You know what is crazy? The craziest thing about this... We owe it all to the Stoat, man. The Stoat gave us that incredible uh, chicken pivot. Which I thought at the time I was very upset by. <laughs> For now, I'm going to give my voice a little bit of a rest. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I'll see you next time. See ya!